Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. Welcome to Sunday Afternoon Football. We're coming to you from Docklands. This should be a classic between Collingwood and the Dogs. It's been a long time coming, but finally we have some footy to enjoy. Anything can happen, never more so than in round one. Here come the teams. We've been looking forward to this one all week, and now the moment has arrived. Begg wins the first ruck contest. McRae gets his kick despite the heat. Caulfield tries to spike it out of the danger zone. Takes the responsibility, just needs to finish. Finish he does. A real opportunist goal there. He doesn't need a lot of the footy to make an impact. The Pies have wasted no time getting on the scoreboard. Rucks go at it. McRae. Can he hit a target? Gallagher making his claim for the Golden Fist Award. The Dogs might be able to start something. Scott. His field kicking is normally first rate. Spud Brawley would have loved that one. Dale, with some time, can set them up. Ryan clears the area. It's a desperate tackle. A goal-scoring opportunity may have gone begging there. No free kick, and they've got a stoppage in a dangerous position. Begg wins it. Burton. It's a tough game. We've got a whistle. Umpire's ball. Begg punches it out of the ruck. He's under close attention. Burton in some space now. He's made a hot start to this match. Dale got a fist in. Gathers it cleanly on the wing. What's he got on offer? Garcia. That one was always his. Searching kick. Good disciplined defence. Clark sets sail for home. And he is delivered. He might just be in for a big day. The Dogs have opened their account. Begg gets his hand to it. Scott. Bedendo. Takes the logical option. Dale. Preston. Out of the congestion. This deserves a goal. Clark. Strong grab. Just a question of whether the lead will be six points or one. He should have the distance, but I'm not sure he has. Noble got the handball away. Begg, no easy exit. That's not coming out, and it'll be the umpire's ball deep inside 50. Good ruck work. Preston leading from the front. Desperate defence. The ump calls for the footy close to goal. Begg with the tap. Got to get rid of it. Noble dealt with the pressure. Can he make them pay for that errant hand pass? It's there! It's a gift, really, and he's taken full advantage. So the underdog throwing down the gauntlet. You can see their belief growing. Beg, the winner there, Bianco. 
This will be their first entry for a while. Out thought he's his opponent and took a ripper. He kicked this more often than not. He doesn't miss many of these, and he hasn't missed that one. Terrific goal there. He's so dangerous in front of the sticks. Good match so far. Begg wins it out of the centre. Preston, Scott, heads towards the half-forward flank. It's a poor entry. A waste, really. Alice, Jack, in the right spot. He's besieged. That's holding the footy. Quarter time and nothing to split the side so far. Gary Lyon is with us. What do you make of this one, Gaz? All signs are pointing to this being a close match all day. Neither side has been able to assert any dominance in clearance or inside 50s, and it's obviously close on the scoreboard. If it continues like this, we're in for a treat. Good on you, Gary. Thank you. Begg showing his skills. McRae kicks inside the forward 50. McGuinness takes a beauty. Good hands. Burton, he's going for home. And why wouldn't he with a finish like that? I feel better now they're in front. Getting some reward on the scoreboard. The Pies have been impressive so far. There could be an upset brewing. Begg smashes it out of there. McRae, the defenders will be nervous. He's plucked it and should have a shot. The defence has fallen down. Tiefel drops into the hole and marks. Relatively straightforward kick, but that's easy to say from here. Drop punt looks good. He's got it. He has produced a clinical finish there to cap off a terrific passage of play. The Pies are having a lot of the play and making it count too. Begg had his measure today. McRae, was he taken high? The anchor. He'll feel that one. Preston, they need to hit the scoreboard here. Defence 101 there. Navigated the traffic. Scott can run with the footy. He's been busy so far. Beck, stripped of it. He just dropped it. Must be holding the ball. And it is. Takes it out wide. Doesn't often waste it. Harrison has found some space at halfback. Hugel gets there first. Lux of fortune. It'll be a goal anyway. To kick the easiest of goals. The assignment is simple, and he makes no mistake. Some great work there to create the easiest of goals. Back in the middle. Begg has been dominant in the ruck. Lipinski, Allen. Some people can't kick that far. Hair pass cut off. Beck, it's no place for the faint-hearted. Beck, in heavy traffic. Burton, is anyone home? Keith, with the big fist. Lipinski, only knows one way. Hardy, taking no chances. Gets it to safety. He's off. Back into play. Frampton couldn't mark, so he brings it to ground. Terrific forward pressure. Johnson leads his opponent. He can smell a goal from a long way off, but his kick is astray. The Dogs have got to be a bit sharper in defence. They're fortunate they weren't punished on that occasion. Away he goes. Dale with the footy. Keith is hard to beat one-on-one. -on -one. Good handball. Normally delivers Preston. 
Dishes it off. Got to go quickly. Time running out. Great pressure and ultimately rewarded. Clever kick. Harrison marks on centre wing. Can they find a late goal? Tied him onto it. Cops some unwanted attention. Hunt wins it down. Preston, the Pies, guarding the corridor. Karmas, great body work. Well, that was a fascinating first half, but there's still lots to play out as the players head from the field for a well-deserved break. It's time for some observations from Gary Lyon. Hard to pick a winner here. Both sides are doing a lot right. We may just have a close one on our hands. I can't see either side falling away. They're both desperate and both applying tremendous pressure. These teams look ready to go the distance. I'm inclined to agree. Thank you, Gaz.
Begg punches it out of the ruck. They have a good understanding, those two. There goes the kick inside the 50. Carmichael, Bianco. That'll work. You can't question his commitment. Desperate defence. Bends it around the body. That's on target. Through it goes. If they can get up ahead of steam, they'll be hard to stop. That was a terrific passenger play, culminating in a great goal. The Pies on the board first after half time. Begg is giving him a bar. McCreary reads the tap well. Will the umpire pluck a free kick? And he's done for holding the ball. Drives it inside the forward 50. Here's a big chance to pick back the margin. Into the pocket he goes. Ryan wins the contest and can relieve the pressure. The Pies are playing some great footy. This might well cost them a goal. Can he be the fire starter? He's not one to take a backward step. Harrison, no easy exit. The umpire says he had no prior. Begg got his palm to it. Lipinski throws it on the boot. Carmichael has a vice-like grip. Can he find a teammate? McCreary. They're moving the footy quickly. Hunt. I've liked his game today. Hugel. A good kick here and they'll be in business. Alice. Well, look at the distance on that hand pass. They've got them on the overlap. Carmichael has marked in front of goal. To really stamp some authority on this match. Not a good kick. In fact, it might be out on the full. Harrison, and we'll have a throw in. Gary, what have you noticed down at ground level? The Pies have made some mistakes, but they haven't been deterred. They just keep creating opportunities. Hunt got his palm to it. Hugel, Bedendo, under pressure. No way through there, and they'll reset. Begg showing his skills. They're playing for keeps. Sets up a foot race. McRae misses the target and it's out of play. The Pies are certainly looking the better side, but they love to give themselves a bit more breathing space here. The two big men do battle. Hugel. The Dogs might be in a spot of bother. Thought his way through it. McGuinness drops into the hole and marks. He's got it right where you want it. No excuses not to finish the job. He's normally dependable, and he is this time. He's finally on the score sheet. He's been quiet today, but he made that one count. It's a handy buffer they've established. The big men fly. Waitman can send them into attack. Dale. McCreary is cool under pressure. He's generally a good kick. Johnson snares the loose ball. Has he got enough on it? Let's call it a pass. The Pies are working harder at the present time and they're reaping the rewards. Struck it well. No problems there. If they keep getting this kind of supply, the scoreboard's going to get real ugly. Three quarters done, and this has been a real turner. I don't think anyone tipped it. Now for some analysis from Gary Lyon. The Dogs need a good start if they're going to get back into the game. These first few minutes will be vital. They'll need to hit every contest with full force and make sure that they... ...take the right... options with ball in hand it's tempting to take lots of risk when you're a fair way behind but you've still got to be smart and think clearly couldn't agree more Gary thanks for that they can smell victory Dale 
Can anyone get to the drop zone? Yeah. Had the presence of... Five. And to get to the dangerous spot. You can see their confidence growing. Frampton takes it at centre half back. Not sure who that was meant for, but it's been picked off. Waitman. The Pies, under great pressure. They sorely need a goal, and he delivers. Probably a case of too little too late, but this isn't beyond the realms of possibility. The Dogs needed the first, and they've got it. We have a match. Begg had his measure today. Eugle, he stopped in his tracks. Clark, he's wrapped up. Their appeals have fallen on deaf ears. Hunt with a deft tap. Lipinski, Tiedemann, crosses the paint. Johnson had his name written all over it. They're playing with purpose and poise. Scott, he's suddenly a popular man. Met solidly, feeds it out. That was a poor hand pass. Snap it goal, good looking kick, it's home! You turn the ball over there, you've got to expect to pay the price. The dogs, look at breaking point. Begg has been dominant in the ruck. Eugle, Scott, inside 50 with the kick. Time for the Crummers to go to work. Clark has pushed into space. Frampton is calm in a crisis. Going at his first, and he's got it. The Dogs have done well to stabilise, but at some point, they need to apply some scoreboard pressure. That goal hinted at what might have been. Rucks go at it by Tell. There goes the kick inside the 50. Who's front and centre? Gallagher. That's skillful. They're going hammer and tong. They're huffing and puffing. It's a poor entry. A waste, really. They'll bide their time. Gallagher receives a neat pass at halfback. Dale. Sloppy disposal. And we'll have a throw in. Good ruck work. Eugle, that's an aggressive handball. Bedendo, he'll be sore in the morning. Almost an accidental intercept. Read it well and intercepted it on centre wing. The umpire says he made an attempt to get it out. Punch clear. Bytel, leading by example. It's no place for the faint-hearted. Bianco, turned over. The kick was centimetre perfect. Ignoring the corridor for now. Bytel, he's done brilliantly. The Dogs have been caught napping. He hasn't kicked it very well. Johnson marks and will surely convert. Kicking at his first. This should not be a problem, and it isn't. The case of too strong and too good. I don't think there was much more the defender could have done. The Pies have been very good today and claim a well-deserved win. This will give them a lot of confidence. That brings our coverage to a close. Thanks for being with us. We'll catch you again soon.
Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. Welcome to Sunday Night Football. It's great to have you with us at Marble Stadium. This should be a classic between Melbourne and the Dogs. Both these sides were disappointed to drop their respective season openers last week. Both will be desperate to avoid slipping to 0-2. Here come the teams. Who's your pick today, Half? Huh? Pleasure to be here, Hutto. I've tipped the Demons. My tipping hasn't been so crash hot, so I'm going with a couple of roughies this week, and this seemed as likely a candidate as any. Fair enough, Half. Thanks for that. Time for some last-minute instructions as the captains meet in the middle. Set now. Let's hope both teams have brought their A game. English wins it. Liberatore. There goes the kick inside the 50. Long. That's a big play. What's he got on offer? He's plucked it and should have a shot. He'll expect to convert this. Heads for the pocket. Out bodies his opponent and took a ripper. Just a question of whether the lead will be six points or one. Bends it around the body. That's on target. Through it goes. That will do his conference for the world of good to start like that. The Dogs have opened their account. English wins it out of the centre. Bontempelli on the same page as his ruck. Knew the tackle was coming. That might attract a pack. Long uses the body well. Straight in front, should not miss. Kicks it goal. Oh, don't tell me he's missed. Did all the hard work only to let himself down with a kick. McVee tasked with the kick in. Hugel Hagen trying to bring the crummers into play. No easy exit. Laurie. He's been busy so far. Spud Brawley would have loved that one. Daniel spills out in the tackle. Tries to take him on and loses. Lays it off. McVee thought his way through it. McAdam on centre wing. Is anyone home? Seston is always dangerous inside 50. Ball up. The defenders will need to be on guard. The two big men do battle. Billings. He's stopped in his tracks. Bontem Pally. He's made a hot start to this match. Hugel Hagen. That's almost worth a kick. West. Harassed into an error. The Dogs looking dangerous. They've hit the ground running and a goal here will give them a handy break. This needs to come back, but it's not coming back enough. That was a promising build-up and deserved a better finish. Away he goes. McVee with the footy. He's hit up the lead. Searching kick. Adams with a chance to relieve the pressure. What a hand pass. Brown running in support. Just had to get it out. Laurie. That's a bruising tackle. Careful ball movement. Turner. 
normally delivers. The Dogs in front at quarter time. Positives for both sides and a great game in prospect. Gary Lyon is with us. What do you make of this one, Gas? If it's goals you love, then you might have found that quarter hard to watch. But if you love defensive acts and pressure footy, then I think you'll have enjoyed it because they were in abundance. No doubt both coaches would be pleased with their players' intensity so far. Good on you, Gary. Thank you. English wins the hit out. Bontempelli. Was that a legal disposal? Wo Woden, Bowie, can run with the footy. Oh, my word! Up, up and away! The aerialist will battle for this ball. Jones clears the area. Cross, Windsor. This will be a goal! Through it goes! And there's a kick the difference! A midfielder who consistently hits the scoreboard is a real valuable commodity in modern footy. One kick game again. English with a deft tap. Terrific tackle. They're going nowhere and will have a stoppage near the centre. English had his measure today. Wawoden can send them into attack. Drives it inside the forward 50. Daniel made the footy his. Was that a throw? Cross. He's suddenly a popular man. It hasn't been a great spectacle, but at least it's close. English showing his skills. Bontempelli throws it on the boot. Hugel Hagen wins the contest hands down. That'll work. He's everywhere at the moment. West had his name written all over it. Puts his teammate under the pump. Hugel Hagen fighting tooth and nail not to give up a goal. One behind. They're missing some opportunities and it could really come back to bot. Adams to bring it in. Quality delivery by foot. And they're out of trouble. Smith got a fist in. Going at his first, and he's got it. They might want to tighten up on him. They gave him too much space on that occasion, and he made the most of it. The dogs are doing enough to keep their noses in front. English is giving him a bar. Bontempelli blasts away. Norton takes the mark and can extend the margin. Kicking at his first. Goes for home. He doesn't miss many, and that is no exception. Well, it's one thing to take the contested mark, but another to have the composure to finish off your good work. The Dogs with three of the first four. Rucks go at it. Bontempelli leading from the front. The umpire whistles for a ball up. English punches it out of the ruck. He'll be sore in the morning. They appeal for a free kick, but we'll have a stoppage. English, the winner there. Trelaw is cool under pressure. He'll feel that one. He's so clean with the footy. Williams. By hand. Got to go quickly. Time running out. You can see their confidence growing. Smith in the thick of it as ever. That's an impressive mark. To say there are some alarm bells ringing is an understatement. They're not working hard enough. In towards goal. He's made the goal on by work. Well, you can't afford to dwell on it. Just got to make sure you get the next one. He's off. Adams brings it back in. Generosity is a wonderful quality, but not on a football field. They've had the better of the contest to this point. The Dogs have certainly looked a better side. They'll be hard to catch.
Kicking for his first. He's off target. He really should have capitalized on that, but not to be. The halftime siren sounds and the players will retreat to the rooms with lots to contemplate. What's happening down there, Gary? The Dogs put together an excellent first half and one of the features was their aerial dominance. It feels like they're marking everything at the moment, although the opposition is certainly guilty of gifting the ball back on occasion. Thanks, Gary, as we get going again. English has been dominant in the ruck. Smith, Dale, got to get it on quickly. Was that a legitimate attempt to get it out? The ump gives him the benefit of the doubt. Punch clear. Bontem Pally. Can he find a teammate? Time for the crummers to go to work. Adams, he's set upon. Smith displaying great endeavour. Scott drops into the hole. He hasn't managed to find the middle yet. He should do so here. He's a quality finisher, and that's more evidence. The Demons are on the ropes. They need a spark before this one gets away from them. The Dogs have kicked the pass three, and they're looking formidable. English wins the hit out. Smith navigated the traffic. Dale met solidly. Great tackling technique there. English has rucked tirelessly. Bontempelli, Trelaw. It's a tough game. That was a brilliant tackle. Oh, they're hitting in hard. English slaps it out. Liberatore. What can he manufacture? Cops some unwanted attention. McAdam, desperate to win it back. Howes can get and go. Gets his kick despite the heat. Seston. It's there! Great team goal. They keep playing like that, and they won't be behind for long. If they can get the next one, it'll be on. The big men fly. Bontempelli needs to be quick. Long ball in. Law is so strong one-on-one. -on -one. To really stamp some authority on this match. He shoots it goal. Has the kick. No good. The mark was terrific but unfortunately doesn't count for much thanks to the disappointing finish. Away he goes. McVee with the footy. Liberatore couldn't mark, so he brings it to ground. Dangerous place to turn it over. Trelaw, he's going for home. And why wouldn't he with a finish like that? It eases the pressure on the forwards when you have midfielders chipping in. The Demons will be hearing alarm bells right about now. English, the winner there. Bontempelli loves the hard stuff. Bowie didn't need to be asked twice. How will the umpire see this? McVee tries to spike it out of the danger zone. The Dogs have denied them the corridor. Cross. They're moving the footy quickly. Out bodies his opponent and took a ripper. The Demons are just hanging in there. They sorely need a goal. We know how good he is in these situations, but not this time. You just wonder how many more chances like that they're going to get. He's off. Daniel with the footy. Darcy, can you believe it? Oh, that's incredible. Absolutely amazing. The kick was centimetre perfect.
Three-quarter time and still anyone's game. Time for the coaches to see if they can will their charges over the line. Time to check in with Gary. The Demons have to get the first goal of the last quarter or the task will surely become too difficult. They'll need to avoid falling into the trap of automatically kicking long to contests and instead take the time they need to construct the goals that will give them a chance to win. Couldn't agree more, Gary. Thanks for that. English smashes it out of there. Bontempelli, good hands. McRae, can he hit a target? Waitman, they've worked it well. That was great use of the body. He's so hard to beat in those situations. Kicks it goal, and that's travelling straight over the goal umpire's hat. The Dogs are going from strength to strength. They've got all the answers at the minute. The Demons are in danger of being run over. English wins it out of the centre. Bontempelli, he's caught. That's a give up. He's under close attention. Liberatore, West. It's a hot footy. The Dogs finishing strongly. Law uses the body well. This is what he gets paid to do, kick these goals. Touch and go. Missed one he should have got and let him off the hook. McVee with the footy. Brown gets to the front spot. Doesn't often waste it. Hugel Hagen wins it back. Great mark. Here's the vital kick inside the 50. English has a vice-like grip. Useful hand pass. They're huffing and puffing. Cross is calm in a crisis. No easy exit. I've liked his game today. Bontempelli. West is the man on the spot and is marked. Who's at home? Waitman read it well and claims the mark. They can smell victory. Norton is the target, and he marks. It's all just a bit easy at the moment. They're getting the ball inside 50 under, not nearly enough pressure. It's on the way. Good-looking kick. He's dogged it. The Demons are in real danger of taking a big percentage hit now. The Sting's well and truly gone out of this one. English, the winner there. Bontempelli gets the kick away. Long, great body work. Already got one today. That's not going to come back. It wasn't his best effort. An ugly-looking scoreboard should probably be looking even uglier. Adams tasked with the kick-in. Turner working hard and presenting well. They'll contest in the centre square. English with the big fist. McAdam, Bowie. Not a lot of positives today. Dale making his claim for the Golden Fist Award. Windsor drives it inside the forward 50. The Dogs have done it comfortably. They didn't have it all their own way, but they were class above today. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the action. It's bye for now.
Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. Welcome to Sunday Night Football. It's great to have you with us at Marvel Stadium. This is the round three match between Melbourne and Collingwood. It's early in the season, but both teams will be keen to build some momentum and bank premiership points. Now it's time for the players to take to the field. Joined by Daniel Hart. Great to have you along, Half. How do you see this one unfolding? Pleasure to be here, Hutto. I'm going with the Demons. They're underdogs, but I think they're capable of more than they've shown recently. And today might be the day that they raise the bar for themselves. Okay, then. Thanks, Half. A real buzz around this stadium as the captains meet for the toss. We've been looking forward to this one all week, and now the moment has arrived. Gorn wins it down. He's not one to take a backward step. Quality delivery by foot. Searching kick. Salem tries to spike it out of the danger zone. McVee does well under pressure. Bowie on a lead. He's lost possession. How to get rid of that? Legally says the ump. If he can nail this first shot at goal, he might just be in for a big day. He's a quality finisher, and that's more evidence. Showing exactly why they want the ball in his hands. The Pies picking up where they left off last week. Gorn wins it out of the centre. Viney navigated the traffic. Salem crunching tackle. Petrarca. They're going nowhere and will have a stoppage near the centre. Gorn looking for territory. Dugowie, Dacos under pressure. It's a tough game. Rinse and repeat. Gorn with the tap. Dacos. They'll need to limit his influence. He's been busy so far. Dugowie. Cops some unwanted attention. It's no place for the faint-hearted. Takes the responsibility. Just needs to finish. Finish he does. He might just be in for a big day. So they've got a couple now, and they're looking dangerous. The big men fly. Oliver takes the logical option. Sparrow, they've got time to put the kettle on. Good discipline defence. Chandler, desperate defence. They've bottled it up. Gorn with a death tap. Viney, he's set upon. They want ball, but they're not going to get it. Who can get the clearance? Clean pickup. That could be a goal-saving tackle. Nothing wrong with ambition, but you've got to know your limits. Dacos, the Pies, under great pressure. Gets his kick despite the heat. They could be vulnerable here. The Demons, not at their best so far. That's a strong mark. Can he be the fire starter? Quainor making his claim for the Golden Fist Award. It's a goal! I keep moving the ball quickly. There'll be plenty more where that came from. Both sides are cracking in hard at the present time. It's a great contest. Punch clear. 
plenty of heat in this game. Will the umpire pluck a free kick? And we will do it all again. Gorn wins it. Oliver knew the tackle was coming. Elliott feeling the heat. Dugowie caught. Dropped it like a hot potato. They're a big chance here. McVie got a fist in. McCreary couldn't burst through. That's poor play. Spud Crawley would have loved that one. Oliver, he's been dispossessed. The defenders will be nervous. More! Gary Ablett Sr., eat your heart out. An absorbing first term comes to an end. This one looks like it'll be close. Gary Lyon is down on the boundary. Gaz, what have you got for us? All signs are pointing to this being a close match all day. Neither side has been able to assert any dominance in clearance or inside 50s, and it's obviously close on the scoreboard. If it continues like this, we're in for a treat. Thanks, Gary, as we get going again. Gorn showing his skills. Petrarca. There goes the kick inside the 50. Murphy. It's a hot footy. Dacos. He's everywhere at the moment. Oliver heads them off at the pass. Is anyone home? Defence 101 there. Dacos. Penetrating ball. May clears the area. Elliott throws it on the boot. What's he got on offer? Gorn with the big fist. Crisp sets sail for home, and he has delivered. Crafty forward play there. He reads the ball so well, and he's one of those who can hurt you without having big disposals. The Pies have got it out to two goals. Gorn palms it down. Oliver, good tackle. Great tackling technique there. Rucks go at it. Not a lot of space to work with. Gorn. That might attract a pack. Who's front and centre? Murphy. I don't think he meant to smother it. The distance is the only problem. Moore watched it off the boot. Probing ball. Maynard with a chance to relieve the pressure. Good kick. Crisp, great hands there. He just keeps racking up disposals. No wonder coaches go grey. They need to hit the scoreboard here. Viney looking to pull one back, and that's exactly what he's done. Well played. We've got the limited space. He's just reminded us all how dangerous he is when he gets loose. One straight kick the difference. Gorn punches it out of the ruck. Sparrow, Viney, that hand pass was telegraphed. He ran into a brick wall. No way through there and they'll reset. Gorn with the tap. Viney towards full forward. Time for the Crummers to go to work. Murphy gets the kick away. Burton at centre half back. Can he hit a target? Elliott read it well and claims the mark. That's good vision. Dacos. Bombs it in. Pendlebury takes a beauty. Goals have been tough to come by. Got to make the most of your opportunities. That won't be a goal, and it might not even score. Did all the hard work only to let himself down with a kick. He's off. McVie to bring it in. Honours the lead. Half time, and it's been a dour struggle so far. Not a lot of highlights, but at least we have a close one.
Now for some analysis from Gary Lyon. A low-scoring affair so far. Hopefully both coaches will be more offensively minded now and try to generate some run and carry. Both sides are capable of hitting the scoreboard regularly and it takes a different emphasis 